Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'll be showing you how to start uh, editing files in Home Assistant. So, you've installed Home Assistant from scratch, you've got it up and running, and you're starting to install integrations, and it's gotten more complicated, and you're looking at documentation for the integration, and you're like, how do I edit files? So, this video will show you step by step on how to add editors to Home Assistant and get it all set up. So, what this series is about starting a smart home from scratch and uh, this is, goes over the installation process to set up process my home's got 800 plus devices in it almost 900 so uh, me and my dad's been building it for years and uh, we're just wanting to share the knowledge on how we built it and what we built it with so if you like that subscribe comment like and let's get started So we're in a fresh install of Home Assistant, and um, so uh, if you need to know how to install Home Assistant, I'm going to link it down in the description, the tutorial that I made for it. Okay, so we're going to go down to settings right here. Then we're going to go over add-ons. We're going to go down to the bottom right right here to add-on store. And then you can see all your add-ons that you have available. And we're going to type up in the search file. Okay, file editor, simple browser based file editor for Home Assistant. This is the first option to use. And I'm going to press install right here. You can also look at the documentation. Shows you how to use it. Okay, now I'm going to press install right here. Okay. You can turn on Watchdog if you want. This will just, if the add-on crashes, file editor crashes, it'll just restart itself. And then you can say show in sidebar. It'll show right here. So we're going to, uh, you can see a configuration. You can see documentation. You can see logs right here. So I'm going to say start. And it is currently in the starting up process. So, you can go over here to the UI, and you can see it started up, and now you can go here, and you can see your configuration.yaml, which is one of the main files, and you can see it includes, and you can edit it, just like normal. It will over here, if you are if you put a wrong thing in that's not YAML compliant, it'll go up here and it'll show you which line is wrong. And it's saying test is wrong because it is. And um, so, so if you add a tab to it, it's saying it is correct now because that's correct YAML. Might not be correct in home assistance world, but it's compliant YAML. So, you can go ahead and take that out and you can go up here to save. It says file saved successfully. You can search the file like normal. You can go over here and restart uh, the core, restart home assistant, execute shell co uh, commands. You can see your components that are on home assistance website. You can get to things pretty quickly. You can observe events. You can um, reload scripts, reload groups, and then you can go over here and you can go into a directory and you can go to motion light right here and you can edit that. So that's the first editor that you can use. You can go backwards like that and you can create a directory right here or folder, and then you can create a new file, you can upload a file, and you can use git. Git commit, git push, git stash, git init. You can add your new file, and we'll say testing yaml. And then it's right here, and you can see that it did create. You can go over here, 
And to your testing YAML, you can download it to your computer. You can rename it. So testing, rename. Okay, apply. Okay, you can see that it did uh, rename the file. You can also delete the file right here. So you can go ahead and just delete this file. And it has been deleted. Okay, that is file editor and how to use that. You can also go over here and see um, where you've been to so you can get to it quickly. You can also trigger platforms as well, services. And you can go over here and, and have an easy way of getting to it. And you can put your entities, like you can go over here to entities and you can get the entity name. So it's pretty neat. You can go up there and save. Okay, now, so you've installed the file editor. Now, I'll show you how to install the other editor that I personally use. Studio Code Server. This is VS Code inside of the Home Assistant Web app. So let's go ahead and you can see the info. You can see the visual install. You can see the configuration. Documentation. So you can go here and install. It'll take a little bit to install this, a little bit more. Okay, now you can turn on Watchdog and that just starts the container. If it, if it fails for any reason, you can show in sidebar right here. It's showing in sidebar right here, Studio Code Server. You can see your documentation still. You can go in here and put packages in. You can see the logs and then you can start. So it is starting up and you should be able to see the logs here and you are able to. So looks like it's done. So let's go over in the web UI right here. You can also go over here and click it. So this is just visit, uh, Visual Studio Code inside of the um, website. So go down here and say understand, but you can get to the directories really nicely and you can edit everything um, so you can go down here and do iOS like I was doing it automatically makes it to where it knows that to put a um, spaces in or tabs it's using spaces on two so right now it's using spaces but you can go down here and press tabs if you'd like and dent with tabs and now it's using tabs um, so you can go up here, um, you can edit everything just like normal. You can go over here and you can, you can go over here and add a new file like I was doing. Let's do it. Testing YAML. And, um, so you can go in here and just edit that and save that. And now, you can um, create a directory as well, so testing directory, and then you can just drag and drop this in the testing directory, and you can say move, so it's a little bit easier to use, just like, and then you can say testing, and it'll search all of the files that are in the testing. So it found that testing was in configuration YAML. So you can see that it went away. So it's real time updating. You can also go in here and put testing in. And then you can go in here and you can see that it found the testing YAML down here. You can also start up a repository. Keep logs. You can install extensions here. And you can get to the menu bar 
And then um, you can also turn on cloud changes so you can sign into your GitHub account and you can sync all your config over to this one. You can get to the settings and change the way the editor looks. You can change your keyboard shortcuts. You can add user snippets. You can create a profile. So that is how to edit files in Home Assistant. And um, so. And then you can also go over here to file editor. I'm going to just go ahead and show you. You can go here and uninstall if you don't want it. You can just press install. Uninstall me. And you can go do the same thing with the studio code and press uninstall. This will get rid of all the files that are pertaining to this add on. And it'll take a little bit longer. OK, now it's completely uninstalled and you are done. One other thing you need to uh, do is when you edit any configuration files in Home Assistant, you need to go to Developer Tools. You can uh, reload all the YAML files right here. You can do that. Uh, you can also check configuration. And if you're editing something that can't be reloaded here, you restart. So that is how to edit files in Home Assistant. I showed you two ways. I showed you the file editor. I showed you the VS Code. They're both good editors, and you can you, you use it to edit your configuration files, your YAML files, whatever you want. Also, always make sure that the YAML is compliant by going to Developer Tools on, on Home Assistant and then going to Check Configuration. Uh, it will tell you if it's good or not. And, uh, and so if you like this uh, series on starting a smart home from scratch, uh, you can subscribe, comment, like, and stay tuned for more.